Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, Soren. Yes, hello. Hello. Welcome to episode 14. What's up, dude? <laughs> you have googly eyes again. You have crazy armor going on. I, I, what? No. I don't think A little bit. I also have a shuriken. Ouch. It hurts. It's unlimited ammo. Do what now? Unlimited ammo. Yay for you. Is it me or did I just drop a bunch of items and like they disappeared? Did you do something over here? Mm, partially. What'd you do? What's going on? I didn't change any of this setup, I just changed how the cables connected over here for a moment. Okay. But weird. What's going on? Uh, I'm dropping items and they're disappearing. That's Did you see that? I didn't do anything like that. I don't know what's going on there. Did I set something up here and like forget that it exists? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what'd you do for the flowers? How are you picking those up? Uh, nothing. I didn't set that up yet. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm actually confused now. Um... Oh, uh, by the way, I fixed that empty block. There was a bit in it. Apparently it was an air bit. Oh, there's such a thing as an air bit? I I couldn't, I didn't get anything back, but I used one of the positive designs to force it to play something else and it worked. Sweet. So, I, no. Oh. <laughs> Anything that lands in this block space just vanishes. Look. Oh, that's that's nifty. Um, all right. Right. Oh, what are you doing? What's expecting? Okay. I'm glad. There's nothing. <laughs> are you okay? You're fine. It's terrified me a little bit. <laughs> Literally, it's this block space right here. Any item that lands in the block space right there vanishes. And now it's fixed. But I did that already, and it wasn't fixed. But now it is. All right, place your runic altar there again. I'm afraid to. I think it got. I think <laughs> it got voided. Fly, yeah. Let's get ourselves a new one. It was totally voided. Okay. It might have been the altar misbehaving. We fixed it. It's all fixed. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know like how. That. We're such good debuggers. We need to update this pack. We do, and by we, we I mean you. <laughs> Someday. Yeah. You know what else I want to get? Uh, once I get my runes of fire, I think I'll be cool. So your mana spreading. You're actually pretty full. Should do something about this slowness that we have going on here. Yeah, it worked. Okay, cool. Uh, putting away this and this. I want to set up my epic bacon deal today. Um, and I think that'll be a cool time. And everybody will have fun watching me do that, I think. We'll find out. Uh, Rune of Fire is the next one I want to get. Uh, let's... Let's check out our lenses. I think it's the fire one that's the potency lens. And I think that's what I'm gonna to wanna to have. Yeah, rune of fire. So let's get mana lenses. I'm gonna want two of them. And that should be cool. Yeah, we definitely need to update this pack. 
This is slow when the mana burst has to travel so far. And I could get velocity going on too. Double it up. Because it is going a little bit of a distance. I'm kind of sticking to like the the, the, the the look and feel thematic theme thing going on. But if it's going to be uh, more of a nuisance than not, then we might want to change it up. So this should help you drain your mana faster. Maybe, in theory. I might need to sticky lens those together with the velocity, which would be a rune of air, which I can totally make. So this should be going faster now. See, the problem is we're waiting for the mana burst to actually collide. Um, and I think if I had a slime ball, I can combine the two, right? Is that how it works? Lenses? Uh, lenses. By combining two lenses with a slime ball, it's possible to unite them into one and keep the effects of both. That's exactly what I want to do. Cool. So let's get three more glass, or two more glass. We'll make two more lenses. And then we want velocity lens. Boom. And boom. We can take these off. We can combine these two with a slime ball. And now we've got composite velocity potency. Nice. That's kind of cool. See how much faster it's going now? Much faster. Now let's check out our crafting speed. See how much faster it's going now? Noticeably faster. Now, to be fair, I could just place the runic altar right next to the mana spreader and I'd be fine. But where's the fun in that? And this thing, look, totally no longer a backlog of mana in it, which is good. So that's awesome. I might I might use that a bit. Alright. Um, so what I'm working on today, guys, in case you couldn't tell, is getting myself a few runes. Uh, I want to get my Gormaleus, which is going to require a rune of summer, which is earth and air, and runes of fire. Um, and then once I get those, I'm also going to need melons, slime balls, and sand. Hopefully we have melons. Soren, could you grow me a few melons, please? Uh, sure. Thanks, buddy. Okay, there's 64 in the system. That was quick. <laughs> I'm really good at planting plants. <laughs> or using nature essence. Yes. <laughs> yes, I see what you did there. <laughs> it's just nice to the craft, it's okay. Yeah. Dude, that's actually kind of I'm awesome. just glad I knew about that, otherwise that would have taken a while. Yeah. I mean, when in doubt, we have some kind of essence that can produce pretty much everything for us at this point, don't we? Maybe I wouldn't mind getting, like, an automated setup for stuff. <gasps> it's a Cletho Wither! Uh, there's a block next to the Wither machine. You should be able to right click, and I think it'll hide it for you. It's hidden for me, so I don't know if it's per player. The withered not. boss death muffler. Yeah, it should show like shades on it when you. Okay, cool. Yeah, looks good. It's definitely not playing the sound, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Yay. Um. So this will get me the Gormaleus. I've got the epic bacon that I'm going to need. Then we need to build a system to automatically create mana with them. The trick with the Gormaleus is if you give it food before it finishes eating, it's going to eat the food anyway and not make any mana from it. So we need to know when the Gormaleuses are running. And I want to have like five of them, I think. I should be able to shift right click. Regular right click. Yeah, there we go. Auto place. Nice. I love that. Um, so that's kind of my plan. Now the Gormaleus, I wanted to make five of them. 
Uh, I might need to make a four more, few more runes, but I'll probably just make them off camera if I do need to. Uh, let's get those melons. Let's get the sand. And let's get the slime balls. Cool. Um, and these should just be a break. Nice. You're good to go. And then it should be air and earth, two sand, one of you, and one of you. And there we go. So I'm going to make a few more of these ingredients off camera, and then I'm going to make the gourmalaises off camera, and then we'll be back when we have everything. All right, guys. Soren found something cool that he wants to show me. What's this? All right. So it's Draconic Evolution Crafting. Yes. Uh, look at the middle block, and it yes. should give you a gooey. Yep. Yeah, I've uh, seen this before. Art. But yes, it is cool. It's basically like an infusion, dude. But yeah, yes. the, the visuals on it are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. They're super cool. It, it's similar oh, to infusion okay. crafting, basically. Right, but it's... No, 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 don't get on! Oh! <laughs> Why is it that you want to kill every entity in this game? Because they keep wandering over here. Put them in a pen. They are. What do you think this base is? The base is not a pen. <laughs> it's keeping us contained. Well, I mean, true. <laughs> so cool, look at it. It is cool, isn't it? It's very neat. But it's so anticlimactic at the end. <laughs> Just like, ah! Oh, I'm super saiyan now. I'm done. <laughs> it is a cool crafting mechanic. I I saw that when I was first looking at Draconic Evolution and debating whether or not to put it in the Direwolf pack. And I was like, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. I, I need to have this mod in my pack. <laughs> yeah, he's removing a lot of the arbitrary numbers, I've noticed. Like, the very yeah. beginning of the mod, he made it, and then it's going down. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of mod developers, kind of like their first time through making a mod, they're not worried about balance. They're worried about getting yeah. things working the way they want them to work. And then by the time it's all done, they're like, oh. <laughs> right. And I mean, that's a common mechanic in mod development. So, yes, it's it's fine. But no, there's definitely really cool stuff in Draconic. I need to get into it. Um, there'll be a mod spotlight of it soon. Uh, I'm waiting for him to say go, basically. Okay. All right, be right back. I all right, if I'm not mistaken, yay, that's it. Cool, okay. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but it works. And then empty hand, drop. Empty hand, drop, empty hand, drop, empty hand, drop. Sweet. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to store these guys in here, uh, along with the mana stuff that I've left over. And my seeds can go back. Cool. All right. So we've got some things that we wanted to have. Uh, all this other junk can go away. Probably going to need more mana spreaders, like, super soon. Um, but here's my plan. Here's the rough design of my layout. Um, I was going to have... I'd like to have a mana seer monocle. Can I make one of those yet? Yeah, just mana glass, mana steel, and three. Okay, I can do that. Glass. And gold nuggets times three. Drop the mana glass in. Get one of you. And check. Yoink. Soren. Yeah. Look, I'm a sophisticated googly eye. <laughs> <laughs> so sophisticated. I don't know what's wrong with your eye? <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. Man, it's your monocle for the win. Yeah, so you I, do I guess we won the pack now because that's all I needed. <laughs> so I want to, my test that I want to do is if I drop five epic bacon, what's gonna happen? Um, 
Also, what are you bound to? Did you guys all bind to this thing? Yeah, you did. Um, bound, bound, not bound, not bound. I guess you're too far away. Binding. No, too far away. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is really just a test. You know what I can do? I'm going to put this here. And this is going to be a block that has a purpose in a minute. Cool. Um, so let's actually rebind all these. Cool, now everybody's good. Cool. Uh, so test number one, if I drop one, two, three. Are you guys all gonna consume that? Or did just one of you consume that? You consumed, you did not, you did not. All right, so that might be a problem. So he ate all three pieces that I dropped and these guys didn't eat any, which means that it'll just grab arbitrarily right away. So we probably need to stagger these so that they don't have an overlapping boundary. Um, or that, I mean, they can have an overlapping boundary. We just want to make sure we drop them on the exact right block if they do. So with that in mind, that's why I wanted the Mana Seer monocle, right? So if this is here, right, <clears throat> and we have one here and one here, uh, and then one here and one here, does that work? Right, so that'll be, we drop an item here, we drop an item here, those guys shouldn't be able to pick it up drop an item here those ones shouldn't be able to pick it up there and there and none of these guys should be able to pick up if the items dropped directly on top right so one two three four five and you should all be producing mana now and you can see that the little sparkles indicate that they are nice and that should be cool now I'm probably gonna wind up having multiple spreaders for this. Um, so let's get more gold. Let's get more, doesn't matter what color we use because it's easy to get more of these. We'll get some, we'll get a stack of living wood which should immediately start crafting more living wood for me. Cool. Uh, I guess we're out of wood again. So I should tell this thing to craft more. Beautiful. All right, um, so then we can make more mana spreaders. And these guys are basically gonna live here. We're gonna do one mana spreader per. Okay, you will be bound to this block, you will be bound to this block, you will be bound to this block, and you will be bound to this block. Okay, you combined here, you combined here, you combined here, you here, and you here. And that should be pretty darn cool. I'm liking this. I might need a mana tablet. Let's get a diamond. And let's get some living stone. And then let's make sure that this guy is set to pool to tablet and fill her up. So that you guys, wow, we're producing a lot of mana from these Gormaleases, which is awesome. Epic bacon for the win. All right, the next thing we're gonna want is, hmm, a detector. Mana detector. She needs a comparator, redstone, and living rock. All right, can we make comparators? Yay. And we should be able to make a mana detector now. This will emit a redstone signal whenever there's a mana burst traveling through it. Um, so for demonstration purposes, right? Because here's what's gonna happen, right? If any one of these is running, I wanna drop all five at the exact same time. Um, 
And then we want to have like a small cool down period while the food is actually consumed and eaten by the Gormalaeus. And then when mana bursts are traveling through the mana detector, it's going to emit a redstone signal. That's going to be our signal to say, hey, the Gormalaeuses are currently eating. Don't give them another piece of food. Cool. Uh, now I should be able to request a stack of this, no problem. Nice, that's what I like to see. Auto crafting for the win. What's up, buddy? I'm flying around waiting for my thing to craft. I see that you have your Gormalaeus going. Yeah, I'm working on the automation of it right now. Nice. I'm gonna want more insulated redstone, so I'm gonna teach this thing how to make it real quick. You need to make you. And this is a uh, silicon and redstone. There's redstone alloy essence. That's funny. There's also vibrant. Wow. Yeah. I'm debating on making that. So we have an alloy smeltery over here set to smelt alloy mode, right? Yes. And we haven't taught it any recipes yet. Correct. Correct. Okay. So let's grab some silicon and redstone. I hear you crafting over there. Quite a few things. One of them is for you. One here. Oh yeah, a present. Yeah. Mm. For me. <laughs> for you. You shouldn't have. Okay. <laughs> so you can go in there. This guy can go in there. And that should be cool. I probably have to teach it how to make conduit binding. Boop. What'd you get me? Teleporter. Oh, oh, neat. And then how to and smelt it already has this. home installed. It already has a what installed? Home as a destination. Oh, nice. So one of you... It uses ender pearls, but I mean, like, we have ender pearls for days. Oh, it uses ender pearls? But you add, like, you add the fuel to the GUI. So you ship right quick. Right. Becomes two of these. And we can put this away. Whoops. And this can go on this pattern guy over here, wherever Soren hit it. There it is. That and that. Now I should be able to make more redstone. Like a stack of it. Easy peasy. Loving it. Okay, I taught the uh, system how to make conduit binding and all the stuff required for uh, redstone conduits. Right. Just cause. Crafting progress. Doing just fine. Making redstone alloys at the moment. And insulated redstone is waiting for items. And you're coming right along. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so... How do I want to drop the items? That's the next trick. So basically, I'd like to have a system that's an auto drop on a pulse. So there's an iron dropper from random things and a dropper. Any idea how this random things iron dropper works? Randomly? I haven't looked at it. I want a drop item on pulse kind of item that drops straight down. Eject item continuously while powered. Eject continuously. Eject when pulsed. Five tick pickup delay. Interesting. Exact velocity, random velocity. Wow, no effects, sound effects. Particle effects, sound and particle effects, neat. I don't know what this means. 
but it might be related to other random things, like a pick up or a picker upper from random things. Which might be cool. Um, okay, so eject when pulsed. So that means that if we were to put things in there and we made a button, let's make a stone button, that your velocity will be straight down. Beautiful, that's what I want. So every pulse equals drop an item, right? It's gonna be exactly what we wanna have. So let's get four more of these things. And they can all live directly above. We'll do this. It might be rotatable with a wrench. I'll try that in a sec just to find out. But easiest method would be to do this. Oh, neat. Um, there we go. Love it when they're rotatable. Cool. So we're going to basically want to have a timer. Let's see if there's a basic timer in the pack. If not, I can do one with Super Circuit Maker. There is a Dark Utilities timer and an RF Tools timer. Let's see what the Dark Utilities one. I know I did a spotlight on you recently, and I already forget how you work. So if I set the timer, very basic timer, it's currently set to five seconds, four, okay. So now if you received a redstone pulse, would you reset? That's the question that I need to know. Three, two, reset. It doesn't look like it. That's what I want. I want the functionality of if you get a pulse, it resets the timer. Super circuit makers can do that. Uh, let's check out the timer from RF Tools. Da, 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 da. Yes, that's what I want. That's the feature that I want. Hello. That's interesting. Soren. Dyer. Never mind. I had an inventory desync. Oh, okay. I couldn't place redstone in this chunk for some reason. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I have removed you as an ally. So in theory, this will pulse once every five seconds, right? But if it receives a redstone pulse, it should reset the timer. Right? So as long as you're receiving redstone pulses, you'll never pulse. So that's the functionality I want. So we're gonna use that one. Cool, awesome sauce. So. You should eat some of this cake. I'm not eating any of that cake. I know exactly what that is. Eat it though. I wanna be Dova Keen. All right, let me finish this build. I'm almost done. Okay. So you guys can be on the red frequency. Okay, so this means when we pulse on red, it shot. It should, in theory, um, drop one, one dude. And I'm gonna have to pipe items into here, which I'll just get around to at some point. But for now, let's get that epic bacon that I made. And let's put two in each, right? So two, two, all oh, right. And you should be eject when pulsed, right? 
probably just wasted one piece of epic bacon. But, considering we can make, like, you know, pretty much everything. Uh, any amount of them. So let's put four in each. Does that sound cool? I'm going to have it be a 10 second delay, and hopefully that's long enough. Um, so what we'll want to have then... I saw and decided to move my network receiver. It was in a spot that wasn't going to be in my way. Now it's in a spot that is in my way. It's all right. I can work around it. All right. So then we'll just hook this dude up here. He will pulse the timer. Centralized it. Which will be set to a delay of... 200 ticks, so that's 10 seconds. Okay, so if it receives any time within 10 seconds, a pulse, then it should run. Yes, that's the right line. You're gonna run straight up to here. There is also a Terra Steel Essence, now that I think about it. Nice. Hey, this is kind of working. It's kind of working, opposed to fully working? It's almost there. So you check it out. It's not going to drop. So see how there's Epic Bacon in the droppers? Yeah. So 10 seconds after the mana bursts stop, it should run again. Why are you not running? Is it because this is here? All right, so this I'm gonna move underneath. That's better. So this one has to empty his contents of mana, which is fine. Uh, I wouldn't mind making more of those velocity and speed dudes, um, but we'll get to that. Because with this, we'd be emptying our mana contents much faster. What you doing? Uh, make it so it won't blink. Oh, okay. But it'll still So 10 seconds later, it should drop another piece of Epic Bacon and then stop again until every piece is done. Nice. There it goes. Boom. That is awesome. I love it. Um, so the next thing to work on, I think, would be just making more of those lenses. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'll be right back. All right. I think we should be good here. Uh, so U plus U. U plus U. U plus U, and these guys, awesome. So these are all velocities plus, right? So we're probably, okay, we have a little bit of epic bacon left. I wanna compare how much faster it is with the lenses installed. Cool. So you're half empty now, and you're about three quarters. So it's pretty much twice as fast. Am I rating that right? So you're almost empty, and you're about half. So it pretty much doubles the speed, right? This one's already done, and these have a long way to go. So these lenses double our mana production speed. Sweet, right? The only thing left to do is comparator on this guy. 
probably. Does that Draconic item exist that, like, emits a static redstone signal level? There are many. Okay. Because I want to only emit... I, I want to do this here. I want this to be minus 14. So okay. that it so that it only tells me when it's 15. Okay, that's it for you. You want 14? Yeah. So if I'll you want to do that as a good. as a super circuit, that's fine. Um, but basically, and then it, I want it to feed into the redstone conduit here. Okay. Um, but if um, don't put the redstone conduit. Um, above the mana the block it's on now i'll i'll make the circuit and i'll just throw it to you okay cool all right back in a minute guys all right guys next part of this build will be and it's getting wrapping up point ish but what we're going to do is have this here we're going to have a transfer node there we're going to put epic bacon in here and then we're going to put transfer filters on all these dudes Right, and then pipes will come up like so. Okay, and all of these will be set to a single item. So you're only allowed to put one single item in the transfer filter into the dropper, right? So you're all set to single item now. So what this means, and this probably won't be a chest for very long. It's going to be a, not a relay, a um, interface. And I wouldn't mind a crafting upgrade. So let's just set that up properly now, right? Okay, uh, and cabling. So your job will be to keep, let's say, 20 epic bacons. So it should auto craft these now. And once they're there, the transfer node will suck them out and put one single item in each of the iron droppers. As soon as I put the crafting upgrade in there, now it's crafting them. There it goes. Cool. Now each of you guys should get one. In theory. Come on, don't lie to me, transfer node. You should be extracting items right now. Uh, I think I remember you having a sidedness to you. Can I only transfer from the side? I only export out the bottom. That would be a pain in the patoot. Can only transfer out the bottom view. Urgh! That's frustrating. All right. Let me think for a minute. So I think that's changed in the next version. So for now, if I just put my epic bacon in here should be finding its way to the appropriate locations. I'm gonna speed upgrade this thing so that we know it's fast. And with that guys, I'm gonna call this a completed episode. So Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of uh, the uh, episode. We will come back next time in which we will have so much mana we won't know what to do with it and then we'll be cool. All right, for now, uh, take it easy.